What up guys, it's Konata, aka Mr. Dark Nagato, coming at you with another rant. As fighting game fans know, they have came out with Ultimate, they haven't came out with it, they confirmed and shared a little information about Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3, which is originally Super Marvel's Capcom 3, except for they probably changed it due to it being leaked. So, I like to rant about this stupid shit. Of course, I would just like to say that Catcom has still, after all this shit been talking about them, still hasn't learned shit about deal downloadable content. They haven't learned a fucking thing about downloadable content. No, you would think that since there's a DLC version of Arcade Edition that you they would think that they will learn about fucking DLC. Oh, well let me put it to you this way. They haven't learned shit. They're going to put this shit on a fucking disc. All they're doing is adding 12 characters, adding some new moves, adding some more bullshit, adding eight new stages, which looks more like remakes. And then there you go. You got fucking Marvelous Cat Count 3. Ultimate Marvelous Cat Count 3. They added a few bosses looking as like the picture looks like, but still. As how the picture looks, it does kind of look like they added a few characters. I mean, they added like some bosses or something. But that's not the fucking case. Um, here's the ripoff. Here's the ripoff. Now, one. I guess they couldn't go with this empty handed. They added a few moves like. Some moves would be acting differently and stuff like that, and you know. Oh my god, why do people fucking message me when I'm fucking trying to rant? Whatever, okay, oh, let me put this on busy. Alright, so they added a few stuff, you know, and of course they added some characters. I'm guessing that anybody who's seen the new characters. I mean, anybody that's been following this has basically seen what characters is which now. Um, now here's the problem. Of course, this is the second time they have made a roster, and we see no fucking Mega Man. Not that I played with Mega Man much in Marvel's Capcom 1 or 2. I mean, I play with them from time to time, but not like as much as I'm making my sub or my main. But still, no Mega Man. We still have to deal with fucking Zero's bitch ass. Little bitch ass, cunt ass, bitch ass nigga. Oh, yeah, we gotta, we, got, we still gotta fucking deal with this bitch. Now, and here's Capcom's reason. This is literally the best reason they can ever come up with. Mega Man was not in Marvel's Cat Ultimate MVC3 because he's not on the top of the fucking request list. Of the votes in the percentage of characters that was requested for Marvel's Capcom 3. Now I am looking at the list right now, the top 25 characters on both Marvel and Capcom's list. Let's see. Going from 25 up. Oh, here, 19. With 548 to 52 volts. Fucking Mega Man EXE. Let's go up the list even more. At number 9, 967 votes. Classic Mega Man. Let's go up the list even more. Number 1. 
with 2,568 votes, Mega Man X. So not only Mega Man is now on this list, here's three different fucking Mega Mans on this list, and they say that he didn't have enough votes in order to get on fucking Marvel vs. Capcom? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? There is no way. There's just no way. Oh, wait. There's base on here, too, but still. There's no fucking way. Phoenix Wright, Strider, Frank West, Virgil, they all got in there. They're all on the fucking list. Phoenix Wright, number two. Strider's number three. Frank West is number five. And Virgil is number fucking six. And you still in Mega Man X is number fucking one. Number fucking one. You would think that if they was going to add 12 characters, they add six each side, you would think they'll pick the first six characters that made it on the fucking list. The first six characters, at least. Maybe... Um, wow. Wow, I'm really surprised that Cammy went that low. I mean, she's one of the best characters, one of the most known or whatever. Anyway. This is fucking shit. Now let's look at Marvel's list. The top, the top six on that list is Venom, Gambit, Carnage, Ghost Rider, Miss Marvel, and Psylocke. Do you see fucking Venom on there? No, you don't. Do you see fucking Gambit on there? No, you don't. Do you see fucking Carnage on there? No, you don't. Do you see Ghost Rider on there? Yes, you do. You see fucking Ghost Rider on there. You see fucking Ghost Rider on there. He came in fourth. Doctor Strange came on eighth. Came in eighth. And then I don't see nobody else that actually made it. Wait. No, I see nobody else that made it other than fucking Ghost Rider and fucking Doctor Strange. In other words, Capcom is pissing all over their fans. Oh, and to make matters worse, Mega Man Legends 3 is fucking canceled. But that's besides the point. They're just fucking pissing all over it, their own fans. And I honestly don't know why. We've been waiting 10 years for this shit. 10 fucking years for this shit to fucking happen. And then they just half do it, throw it out their face. They're going to make it again. Oh, we're going to get more excited. But, oh, wait. We, there's still people that we want on there, but... We're not going to, they're not on there. And you just got to be fucking kidding me that you just got to be fucking kidding me. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Marvel vs. Capcom supposed to be one of those games since it's a crossover to be, you know, fan requested you know those type of games that most people want on the game in order to get the game I mean truly I would like to see fucking Phoenix Wright on there I don't have no problem with Phoenix Wright I mean I would love to see what the fuck he can do I mean they've been trying to get him in a fighting game since Tatsunoko versus Crap Gun no Crap and uh, you know what? Tatsunoko versus Capcom, whatever. And then look at this stupid shit that they just fucking put on. Uh, they about to put on here now. You can now do X Factor in the air. <laughs> Honestly, I see. I see myself no way near buying this game until they can get fucking X Factor off the game. It was, it was interesting 
X Factor was interesting for like the first three days. After that, you realize how fucking broken that shit is. Why the fuck would I want to do X Factor in the fucking air? Little broken ass shit. And then, you know. What makes it even worse is how all these other game review companies fucking praise the living shit out of this game. The first one. Everybody was getting them 9 out of 10s, 4 out of 5 stars, 4.5 out of 5 stars. Everybody been giving them all this shit saying, oh, it's a great suppressor. I mean, it's a great successor towards Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Yo, it's better than Marvel vs. Capcom 2. It's way better than Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Then why are people still fucking playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2? I mean, don't get me wrong. I already knew once Marvel vs. Capcom 3 came out, if it was any good, which is not, then there will still be people on Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but... It's just the other way around at this point. Seriously, at this point, I just want to know what Cap- what the fuck is Capcom doing? And what the fuck were they fucking thinking? What are they thinking? That That is all I want to know. What are they thinking? Other than trying to piss everybody off. I have nothing else to say for this piece of shit company. This piece of shit company can eat a dick. Every single game that they've been coming out with for the past few years has been nothing but shit. And not just any type of shit, bullshit. Just bullshit thrown at the Catcom fans' fucking face. As I was growing up, I respected this company a lot. But I have just lost my respect for this company.